Live from Fox 56 Sports, this is the Home Team Friday Night's Tip-Off. Sponsored by The Window Source. Well, we only have a few more days of high school basketball left in the bluegrass this season. Peyton Hinkle and Tyler Melito are live at Rep Arena before the fans pack the stands for some more great basketball. That is right, guys. I mean, it's been so fun all mm -hmm. season covering these teams, seeing them make it to Rupp Arena. It's kind of sad that we're at this final weekend. Yeah, it's all coming to an end, but we had four teams from mm -hmm. our viewing area. McGoffin County, first time ever. Yep. Great Crossing, same story, first time to the Sweet 16. Alaski County, Perry County Central mm -hmm. as well. Four really good teams. And you got the chance to speak with all of them. Yes, it was a lot of fun. Got to catch up with all of them. And obviously, emotions are high. Yes. This is a very special moment for them. So take a listen. <laughs> We put in the work and it's finally paid off. The boys' Sweet 16 is underway at Rupp Arena as players prepare for their one shining moment. It means a lot, you know, it's a childhood dream from watching the things of me when I was younger, coming to the games before, now I'm playing in the big games. It's just a, a great feeling to go play at Rupp, just the history that's been there and like all the great players that play there, it's just a great feeling to be on that court. For teams like McGoffin County and Great Crossing, history is being made as they hit the hardwood at Rupp for the first time ever. This is the 100th anniversary of the school, and we've done it on the 100th year anniversary. There's been 99 other basketball teams not being able to do it. Uh, it's going to be really cool. I mean, as a Scott County kid, everybody growing up wants to play at Rupp uh, for the state tournament. So to be able to live that out, is, it's amazing. Will Blankenship has been here before, but as a senior, this year feels special. Uh, it's just a storybook ending. I feel like uh, it's a good way to go out, and I feel like if we don't make it all the way, then uh, that final loss will be a little bit easier to handle. And while the ultimate goal is to bring home some hardware. You know, you, you've got to have fun. You've got to enjoy the moment um, and not let the moment overwhelm you. These coaches and athletes all agree they can't do it without support from their fans in the stands. Thank you for believing us. You know, throughout the way, we've had a lot of ups and downs. You know, my four years of being here. Truly amazing, and for my younger ones, you know, just don't stop believing. You know, anything can happen. Just work hard, coming in the summer, work your butts off, and just keep dreaming. Keep what, dreaming. That's keep great dreaming. words of advice. What a great message, especially for all those younger players yeah, that are coming up. And you know, you have little kids, obviously, that dream of making it to this stage when they get in high school. And, they, and going to every game every single week, they cheer so hard. These mm -hmm. high school kids are their idols growing up. And so. we've gotten to see it firsthand, yes. seeing the student sections, the pep bands, everybody. It's been a lot of fun. And 100%. obviously, they're going to be packing this house later on today. We got another good game today. That is right. Great crossing, taking on McGoffin County. The battle of the first timers should be a good one at 11 o'clock. Yep, we'll see it coming up in just a little bit, but you won't want to miss in our next half hour. We take a look back at all the schools oh Tyler boy, and I have visited. Yes, it's going to be a lot of fun and uh, some half court shots that were made are in that video as well. That is right. And, and, should maybe, we... and maybe we'll make one. Yeah, maybe we will. All right, stay with us. More Fox 56 News after the break.